Hello everyone, I'm sorry I've been a little bit AWOL lately, um, I've been snowed under at uni and I've had a cold for the last few weeks and I've been really struggling to get over it but I'm feeling a little bit better now so I thought that I would do my best to get a video up for you guys this week. Um, so this is my kind of everyday makeup tutorial, um, usually I skip the foundation but just so that I don't look horrendous on camera I thought that I'd, I'd put some on today. Um, but it's just really simple and I've ma managed to master it so that I do it in kind of less than 15 minutes it takes me. So. Um, I'm just starting off by applying my um, Wet Metal Foundation by Rimmel and it's just a lovely, light, fresh, dewy foundation. So I really hope you enjoy this video and I'll be speaking to you guys soon. Now moving on to eyebrows, now I look really weird without finishing my eyebrows properly so I'm going to be starting off with my favourite brow pencil which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz pencil and I'm going to be using that to shape my eyebrows nicely. As I explained in my last video they're absolutely ruined from the eyebrow lady um, so I'm just giving them the nice shape that they used to have and then I'm going to be going in with a dark brown eyeshadow and an angled MAC brush which is the 266 and I'll be filling in any kind of bold spots or any kind of vast areas. It's really important that when you're using a product like this that you have a really light hand just because you don't want your eyebrows to look really fake and drawn on and you don't want to look like a kid to use felt tip across your face. Um, so you're using soft motions and just um, short kind of um, brush strokes just to make sure that it looks a little bit more like hair and also using the eyebrow brush that's on this pencil is really handy just to make it look a lot more natural and a bit more blended in. Same again here, although it looks like I'm hacking away at my eyebrows, I am using a really light hand and I'm just brushing through lightly. Um, I don't want the, my eyebrows to look really fake even though they are naturally really full and kind of thick looking so please be gentle. Using this gorgeous cream eyeshadow, I'm going to be taking my ring fingers and just patting them on the lid. Don't bother using a brush, um, it's a waste and it works much better with your fingers. So just pat this lightly across the lid, making sure you don't go into the crease. And then once you're done blending, just leave it and it will set really nicely and it won't move for the rest of the day. And of course this wouldn't be a tutorial without some winged eyeliner so I'm using my favourite liquid liner which is the Rimmel Glam Eyes and I'm creating a gorgeous winged eye effect and this is a really easy way of doing it just starting from your bottom lash line and joining it up to the top and then blending it down. Um, I've explained this a little bit better on some of my other videos so you're welcome to check those out. Don't you just love the attractive faces we pull when we're doing winged eyeliner?
gorgeous MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Give Me Sun. I'm just going to be warming up my face um, with that big fluffy brush. Um, I'm not particularly kind of sticking to a strict area. I'm just starting off at my cheekbones and then blending it out. This is just going to give my face a nice bit of warmth and I'm not going to look as pale or pasty. had this blusher for a few days and I'm already obsessed with it. It's so beautiful on and I'm not going to say the name because I'm embarrassed but um, I'm just going to be using that all over my cheeks just to give me a nice warm blush to the cheeks. On to the lashes. Now take any favourite mascara of your choice. I'm using the L'Oreal Force Lash Architect Mascara which is another new purchase and I'm going to be whipping those on my lashes. Um, I'm going to put it in fast forward because we all know how to apply mascara by now so I won't bore you with that. finish up with anything on your lips I'm just going to be taking my favorite lip balm at the moment and it's a pink champagne one which smells amazing and that is the look finished I really hope you like this guys and again I'm really sorry I've been crappy with videos lately I really hope you enjoyed this and I'll speak to you guys soon